All right, so in this uh, little video, we're gonna go over the tools in this kind of uh, deletion uh, edge kind of editing part of Modeler, which is the delete, the collapse, the connect, the mirror, the slice, the poly pen, the knife, the split, and the edge loop. So to start, let's just delete some stuff. And I mean, that's pretty simple. If I just shift uh, A to get this little selection here, instead of delete, which is what it is in standard Houdini, it's actually X. In this tool, there's not anything that fancy. so. Uh, we can move on. Next, we'll use the collapse tool. And I'll go ahead and I'll just remove that delete so we're working on fresh geometry. And the collapse tool is gonna take a bunch of polygons, for example. It's Shift X. And you'll see it here, uh, Shift X, if you forget the hockey. They're all under this mesh. And Shift X, and you can see how it's going to pull all of them into this uh, center point. And then next, we have the connect tool. And this uh, works best with uh, things like points. If I wanted to connect these guys, I hit C, and then we have this newly created connection between the two of them. You can also run this over multiple points. So if I, uh, I don't know, something like this, and I press C, then I get this connection between points going through my selection. All right, so now uh, let's do the mirror, which uh, is gonna run over polygons. So if I hit three to jump into polygon mode, I have kind of offset this template head um, just to show this point better. If I select everything and then I control shift X for uh, the mirror, you have uh, all these options of, of where we wanna mirror over. So H stands for horizontal, V for vertical, and then local X, local Y, local Z, and then you have edge and two points. So if I did H, for horizontal, you'll see that it pushes that over the horizontal plane. And then let's say I want these guys again. So I do uh, control shift X. I do V for vertical. So it uh, mirrors it over the vertical plane. Now I'll also show you what some of the other controls do. So if I, and then select, um, so if I control shift X and then uh, do edge, well, I'll show you two points first because I think it makes more sense looking at it from two points and it does edge. So if I do two points, let's say I want the uh, the mirror to mirror across this axis, some kind of weird diagonal axis. You want to select kind of the 90 degree offset of the axis that you want it to mirror from. So if you want it to mirror, if I want to mirror from here, <laughs> here, I'll just show you, it just makes more sense. So this is gonna be the plane that we're mirroring across. So if I hit enter, you'll see that it mirrored that direction. If I flip direction, you can see that it mirrored based off of uh, those two points that we selected. And now let's take a look at the, uh, I think it's the slice tool, yep. So if I select some, I'll just keep selecting everything. You don't have to, but I think it displays the point better. Uh, it works basically the same way as the mirror tool. It's control shift C instead of control shift X. And you get these plane options again. And if I do points, and if I wanted to kind of cut, let's say I wanted to cut them in some weird sliced angle, then I'll grab these two, and then you get this cut uh, going right across. If I was to select, and this time I will just select a few of them just so you can see what's going on here. I go edge, you can see I selected that edge, and it's cutting it right kind of in half. All right, and now uh, one of the more, this one's new for Modeler 2021, and it's uh, it does a lot uh, after kind of browsing through it, is the polypen. And uh, this is kind of a little bit similar to Connect, but like a much, much more advanced version of it. Uh, so essentially, you wanna read these controls at the bottom. It's gonna tell you what the hotkeys do because they uh there's a lot of them there's a lot of options but basically uh if i control i mean if i just click it's going to delete points right off the, the bat but it's not going to like blast anything um it'll just kind of let you start deleting points um so back out of all that um if i control and click it allows you to create these points and it also allows you to click and drag to create these cuts kind of along surfaces and stuff. And then you have options to uh, basically like, so control shift plus uh, left mouse button is dragging. So I can drag this guy around. Um, if I shift and uh, click, you can drag around. Uh, selecting the middle, it's gonna, give you the edges. 
set of the points. Shift plus left mouse button click is going to uh, basically insert an edge loop. And that'll work better if I do it on a clean mess so you can see a little bit better. But uh, so shift, left mouse button click, it's going to create an edge loop that goes all the way around the edge. And then control shift, left mouse button click is going to delete these uh, edge loops. So next we have the knife tool. If I go down here, uh, you can see it's K. K is going to access the knife tool. And essentially, uh, this is just a tool where you can drag uh, kind of slices onto your mesh. And this can be useful for, uh, I mean, obviously, it's, I keep saying this. It's a, all of these tools are useful, so it's kind of redundant. But uh, yeah, it's fun. And then um, that's, that's the gist of it. Uh, you got your little controls down here, I guess it's shift left mouse button is vertical and horizontal kind of snapping and then control, I guess is diagonal snapping. That's the knife tool. Next up is the split tool. Uh, if I hit Y, it's going to let me um, make some points and kind of cut these guys up. If I hit enter, you can see that we created that line. After doing that, you can uh, close the path. You want to make sure that it, it comes back around and yeah i mean that's that's the gist of the poly split i don't use that one a ton all right so uh last tool we'll cover is the uh edge loop uh, which is the last one in this little set so uh if we hit t uh you'll get the edge loop uh command or function or node or whatever you want to call it and uh, you can see that it's trying to create this loop on loopable uh geometry and so if i'm kind of Browsing through here, you can see how it's uh, creating this. And you can actually snap two points along this. If I scroll the mouse wheel up and down, you can see it, it gives us more or less uh, points we can snap to. And uh, I'm actually not going to do this. On the, oh, I'll, I'll real quickly just, if you click, um, you can create the loop. And then I'll, if you shift click anywhere in the screen, you can go edit it again. So if I want to start moving this down, or up from here. It's very easy to do that. I'm actually going to do a better example of this on a tube, just because I feel like that'll be easier to see some of the functions since it's like not tiny. Um, so if I hit T to bring up the edge uh, loop, then I just click this guy over here. We can add more edge loops. Um, we can match profile, which is going to take the edge loop that we set and then uh, kind of work from one side of it. So if I switch profile, you'll see that it's now cutting everything after the edge loop. Or if I don't check that switch profile on, then it's going to cut everything up to it. So uh, at any point, if you wanted to edit this, you just shift click anywhere in the screen and you can bring these guys up or down. I might have to hit. Ah, I actually think I, I think that works. Um, But that's the gist of uh, how we would do this guy. Oh, yeah, I think we want to do that. Um, so yeah, uh, that's that's this kind of uh, little set of tools here. Uh, we'll go over um, another one in the next video.